This plate method is one of the most simplistic ways that you can portion out your food without the need to count calories, measure your food, or weigh your food. So this can literally be used anywhere that you are. And I use it daily for my lunches. And what I do is I suggest that all my clients use it when they find themselves somewhere that they're either out to eat at a restaurant or they're eating somewhere that they're just not able to prepare their own meals, such as parties, tailgates, or even holiday events. So the plate method is super simple. What we do is we take your plate and we imagine cutting this plate into fourths. Two fourths or half of the plate will be filled with a non-starchy vegetable, a quarter of the plate will be filled with a lean protein source, and a quarter of the plate will be filled with a healthy carbohydrate. Like I said, there's no measuring, no weighing, no logging required. So let's talk about what's actually in each one of these portions. So for starters, let's look at the non-starchy vegetables. The most simplistic way to look at this is to find vegetables that are not in the potato family. Now, yeah, technically potatoes, sweet potatoes, yams, and some squashes are vegetables, but those particular vegetables are much higher in carbohydrates, so they're going to fall into the healthy carbohydrate category. So when in doubt, anything that's leafy and most things that are green are going to be a good option. Now, I don't want you to overthink this. I always like to say this and I look at it this way. No one has ever struggled with their weight because they're eating too many vegetables. So just stick your potato in the carb category and pick a different veggie to fill up half of your plate with and we're gonna be on the right track. So now let's look at those healthy carbohydrates. Now, ideally we're gonna be looking for some non-processed carbohydrates. So things that are naturally out there such as potatoes, sweet potatoes, variations of rice, legumes and grains such as quinoa and oatmeal are also great places to start. The beauty of the plate method though is that it naturally keeps your portions in check. So even if you do fill a quarter of your plate with a processed carb, say a pasta, you're still not gonna be overdoing it if you keep it to a quarter of your overall plate. So finally comes the lean protein source. Again, don't overthink it, especially if you're somewhere out and about like a birthday party or a tailgate where you don't have control over what's being served. You know, if the only protein source and the only option is a cheeseburger or a brat, go for it. Now, it might not be the leanest choice out there, but just make the best choices with what you have. So now if you do have the opportunity to pick your own protein and you're cooking your own meals, here's my trick. The less legs that it had, the more lean it is. So fish, no legs, it's very lean. Poultry, two legs, still pretty lean. Beef and pork, four legs, tends to be a little bit less lean. Now, I also understand that not all meals are going to fit exactly into a plate because not everything is always separated out just perfectly but the concept can still work the same. So think about a hamburger with a bun. The meat would take about a quarter of the plate, the bun would take about another quarter of the plate, and that would leave half of the plate for vegetables. Pizza is another example. This one's a little bit more uh, challenging to conceptualize, but you fill your half of the plate with vegetables and a pizza with the other quarter. Because if we think about deconstructing your pizza, the crust would take up a quarter and the meat and cheese would take up the other quarter, which would be the protein source. Now, again, this is not always gonna be perfect, but it is a really good place to start. Now, my final thought regarding using the plate method while going out to eat. You're probably never gonna find a meal that fits perfectly into the plate method, but that's okay because you can still make this work for you. Now, what happens when we go out to eat is usually half of the plate is filled with a carb source, such as French fries. Now, that doesn't mean that you need to eat all of the French fries just because you're there. Eat a portion that would fit roughly into a quarter of the plate. This way you can still enjoy food like that, but you do so in a way that's gonna be portioned to your advantage. Now, finally, here's how I use the plate method when I pack my lunches. You can check out these three compartment containers. I found them on Amazon and I'll drop the link in here, but it's already pre-portioned with half of the container and a quarter and a quarter. This way you can pack quick meals and even do some meal prep ahead of time if you choose without having to do any weighing, measuring, or counting calories. Now, as always, if you have any particular questions about how to make the plate method work for your specific goals and maybe any obstacles that you have, just reach out and I'd be happy to help.